Cybersecurity is always about perspective. And that is doubly true when talking about the rapidly changing field of application security. With the state of the state of application exploits, insecurity incidents, F5 Labs and Scientia Institute provide a more complete view of the application security elephant. We examine published industry reports from multiple sources for a better understanding of the frequency and role of application exploits. So let's start the clock to learn more about the affectionately named SOSO report. Web application attacks were the leading data breach pattern for six of the last eight years. 56% of the largest incidents of the last five years tied back to some form of web application security issue. If cracked, stolen, and reused passwords along with vulnerability exploits aren't high on your security radar, you might want to have those things checked. Also, 57% of all reported losses for the largest web application incidents over the last five years were attributed to state-affiliated threat actors. So update threat models accordingly. Now, a lot of reports say exploiting public-facing websites is a top technique, but MITRE's attack framework reports only 12% of threat groups use web exploits for initial access. Now, this could mean that a small number of threat actors commit a large number of attacks, or it could point to difficulties in detection. The most common initial access technique for these exploits is phishing, which could explain the fact that 42% of attacks use valid user accounts, often via web apps, to gain initial access. Granted, there's not much consensus among sources regarding the most common web application vulnerabilities and or attacks, but we did see a so-so agreement among them that injection attacks and cross-site scripting rank highest. Recommendations? Fix your code, patch your systems, double up your creds, and watch your back door. Get your copy and learn more about the state of the state of application exploits in security incidents. Visit f5labs.com. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching, liking, and loving that subscribe button. Check out our other videos, and I'll see you next time on 90 Seconds of Security.